Now let me introduce you to our second lesson on solving simultaneous equations by substitution. Now if you notice, well, to begin with, this is a more advanced question, so let's look at it. Now, as we have stated initially, first we label our equations. This is equation 1, and my second equation would be called equation number 2. Now, basically what I'll do, I'll choose a variable, and by that I mean I'll choose a letter. Here in equation 1 I have k and q here, and it and in equation 2 I have a k down here also and a q. So I'll choose to, to make uh, a letter, a subject in any one of these equations. Okay, now I'm going to make q the subject in equation 2. So again, that's just my choice. You could choose to make any other letter the subject. So let me make my statement. Make q the subject the subject in equation 2 okay now equation 2 states that 5k plus 2q is equal to 10 now if I want to make q the subject it simply means that I will isolate q on this side of the equation isolation means I'm going to leave q alone here okay I'm going to take everything else onto this side and leave q alone here so I see a 5k is being added to 2q so I'm going to say then since it's being added I must do the opposite of addition which is subtraction so I'm going to have a 5k minus 5k and that is a plus 2q and that is equal to 10. Now I have subtracted 5k from that side, so I now need to subtract a 5k from this side. So I know that 5k will cancel out that 5k, positive and a negative will cancel out, so I'm left with 2q is equal to 10 minus 5k. Okay, now q is not the subject because I have a 2 in front of the q. Okay, so to make Q the subject now, 2 is multiplying the Q, so I must do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So now I'm dividing through by 2, and that means I have to divide both sides by 2. What I do to this side, I must do to that. So this 2 into itself goes once, and that 2 into itself goes once. So this 2 cancels out, so therefore, therefore Q is equal to... 10 minus 5k all over all over 2 okay so again this I could call my equation number 3 okay guys equation 3 now what I'm gonna do here now from here in I am going to take the what q is and substitute that into equation number one since I've made Q the subject in two in equation two I must now take this 10 minus 5Q all over 2 and wherever I see Q in equation one I'm going to replace it with that so let me make my statement substitute substitute Q is equal to 10 minus 5k all over 2 into into equation 1 good so here let's let's just jot it down right here in equation 1 i have a 3k minus 4q and that is equal to 32 so all i'm going to be doing here now is to remove my q from equation 1 and I'm going to substitute it with 10 minus 5k all over 2 so here this would continue to say well let me change my color I would have a 3k 3k and minus 4 and if you notice 4 is multiplying q so I, I'm now going to remove q and replace it with 10 minus 5k 10 minus 5k all over 2 and I'm going to close my bracket and that is equal to 30 32 
now guys now this is this is pretty easy from here in and and I, I'll show you what I'm saying now negative 4 is multiplying everything inside the bracket but what, what you need to remember the, this here uh, I am I can write it in another way I could say this is negative 4 times 10 minus 5k all over all over 2 this statement and this statement is the same this is a fraction this is also a fraction so I could say remember now when working when multiplying fractions you cancel out diagonally so diagonally means you cancel out that way or vertically okay guys so I notice a 2 can go into a 4 there so I can say 2 into itself goes one time and 2 into negative 4 goes two times and that's a negative two so basically what I'm left with here this four would cancel out leaving a two here as we have here so I would be left with basically 3k minus two open bracket 10 minus 5k close bracket and that is all equal to 32 good so I just did this little rough working on the side just to show you what really was happening here okay now I can expand this bracket quite easily I can say this is 3k and I have a negative 2 in front of this bracket so negative 2 times 10 will give me a negative 20 and negative times this negative this negative 2 times this negative 5k negative times a negative will give me a positive and two fives I would have a 10k and that is equal to 32 now I have some like terms to collect so I could group my like terms I could say 3k plus 10k minus 20 I just group like terms and rearrange this it's the same thing and that is equal to 32 now I have a 3k and a 10k so that will give me a 13k uh, minus 20 and that is equal to 32 now I need to move my numbers to this side of the equation and leave my k alone over on this side so if I if I look when I look carefully rather I see that a 20 is being subtracted from k so I now need to do the opposite of subtraction which is addition so I have a 13k minus this 20 and to move the 20 I must add 20 and that is equal to 32 and what I did here was to add 20 so I need to add 20 to this side so this negative will cancel out with this positive so I'm left with 13k is equal to 32 plus 20 I would have a 52 now I need to solve for k if you notice k is k is multiplying 13 rather is multiplying k so I must now divide through because that's the opposite of multiplication is division so I'm dividing through by 13 so we know that 13 will cancel 13 here 13 into itself goes once 13 goes once so I'm left with k is equal to 13 into itself once and 13 into 52 goes four times so we have a value for k so k is equal to to 4 now since we have found the value for k and let me just remove this up here for now okay because we're going to need a little bit more space to work with so we have now a k is equal to 4 so what I'm going to do basically I'm just going to substitute because since I found a value for k I can now put k in any one of these original equations and solve for them uh, so I always say choose the simplest equation and just looking at it equation 2 seems to be the best equation the simplest equation to work with so I'm going to say substitute substitute k is equal to 4 into equation 2 and equation 2 states that states that 5k 5k plus 2q is equal to 10 and k is 4 so I can say 5 open bracket means to multiply because 5 because 5 is multiplying k 5 times 4 plus 2q is equal to 10 
So now I can take this up here a bit. So I know that 5 fours is 20. So I can say 5 fours, 20. I'm just continuing from down here. 20 plus 2q is equal to 10. Okay, and if you notice the 20 is being added to 2q. Okay, so we must do the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. So I have 20 minus 20 plus 2q is equal to 10, and I'm going to have to subtract 20. Since I have subtracted 20 here, I must do it to the next side. So I know that a positive 20 will cancel out with a negative 20. So I'm left with on this side 2q this 2q is equal to I know that a 10 minus a 20 since the face value of the negative number is greater than that of the positive my answer should be negative and 10 20 minus 10 will leave us with a 10 however we have 2q here we need q alone so 2 is multiplying q so I need to divide through by 2 2 will cancel 2 and what I do to that side, I must do to this side. So 2 into itself goes once, and 2 into 10 goes 5 times, okay? And I know that a negative divided by a positive will give me a negative. So therefore, I have q is equal to negative 5, okay? So there we go. We have a solution for k. And we also have our solution for Q. So we make our statements now by simply saying, therefore, when K is equal to 4, Q is equal to negative 5. And those are or answers and guys it's that easy and you could always try it for yourselves now you could you could you, you could take the value for K and Q and substitute it in the original two equations to see if you would get negative to see if you would get 32 in equation 1 as your answer and 10 in equation 2 for your answers as we would have done in the previous exercise okay uh, that's it and bye